all right so let's move on to the other parts of this model in our last tutorial we unwrapped the head and the torso part and today we are going to finish the legs and the arms so i'm going to start with this wire i'm going to isolate it and uh, i'm going to take camera based mapping here and create the seams like this and add a cut here make sure you deselect this edge and as you can see that again we are facing this uh, clip plane issue so i'm going to go to outliner and select my perspective view and go to attribute editor and i'm going to uh, change the near clip plane and this issue is fixed So deselect this edge and this one down here go to your UV editor and cut so we have one more issue here as you can see that we have this error current selection doesn't match required selection type so i'm going to just select this and go to my outliner and locate this one i'm going to go to edit and delete by type history and uh, try again so let's go and uh, select camera based mapping Again, go to edge mode and select this edge and cut and fold everything. So, if you face any issues like this, uh, make sure you delete your history first and then you can start unwrapping press ctrl l to put them in a layout and uh, shift right click to fix the orientation like this so let's move on to this part here isolate it and uh, Again, we are going to use camera based mapping for this one as well. Go to create camera based and uh, let's start selecting the seams. I'm going to turn off these checkers. These are distracting. I'm going to select all the hard corner parts. and i'm going to cut then unfold and uh, you can merge uh, these parts so select these edges and uh, move and sue and uh, unfold put them in a layout fix the orientation so this is still not fixed so what you can do is you can select this middle edge and press shift right click and you can use this orient shell to edge and this might fix the rotation
now select this part isolate it and uh, again i'm going to create the seams so go to create camera based mapping and uh, let's start selecting the seams and i'm going to select this part and uh, deselect all these and cut unfold everything we have some issue here as you can see move and sue and unfold you can apply checkers to see if there is any stretching or in shell and this looks fine layout so now let's select this part and uh, isolate it go to create camera based mapping and uh, for this one i'm going to again select the edge and cut out some parts so let's select this edge and uh, this one entirely and I'm going to cut these parts out so we have a separate shell for these ones now let's add some seams here so select these parts and cut make sure to add one cut in these shells as well and you can unfold them to make sure that these are properly unwrapped now let's select this edge and uh, this one same on this side and i'm going to cut and separate the shells and let's select these ones and unfold now let's select this one and uh, for this one i'm going to just select the bottom edge to separate this part and cut again add one cut here and here cut and now you can select both of them and unfold So I'm going to select everything and put them in a layout and you can fix the rotation 
by this oil shell and also turn on your checkers to make sure that there is no stretching in your UVs So everything looks fine and I'm going to select everything again layout now let's select this part isolate go to create automatic mapping select the edges cut add one cut here and again cut then unfold everything orient shell and layout so we have this cylinder inside again isolate and go to create automatic mapping so what we can do is that we have these shells which are not connected so i'm just going to select these edges and move and sew same for this one move and sew and now we are done with this layout you can unfold it one more time and uh, turn on the checkers to see the stretching everything looks fine orient shell to fix the orientation and uh, layout we have this little part here again isolate it and this is a simple cylinder i'm just going to go to create and camera based mapping you can also use cylindrical mapping but i'm just going to go with this one cut and unfold and then i'm going to attach these edges now back to this one and uh, i'm just going to select this one i'm going to delete this one actually uh, these two are identical so we can just unwrap this one and uh, go to create camera based mapping
and we are done with the seams so cut and select everything then unfold and put them in a layout now what you can do is you can select these and move and sew make sure to attach these edges again layout and fix the orientation bring back your model select this and create a duplicate place this one here like this and we are done with the hand so I'm just going to select all the parts of hand and uh, I'm going to go here I'm just going to put them in a group and I'm going to select everything and then layout like this now let's go to your viewport and in the front view i'm just going to select uh, this right arm and i'm going to delete all these parts and uh, i'm going to select this group press ctrl d to duplicate and uh, open your channel box and in the x-axis i'm going to change the scale to minus one to place this arm on the other side and rename this as arm right now i'm going to select both of them go to my uv editor and uh, select everything now these uv's are overlapped i'm just going to put them in a layout again and now this is fixed so one more thing what you can do is uh, you have to turn on the shaded mode and make sure that your uv's are not flipped so zoom in for the smaller parts and if they are all in this blue color then it's fine but if they are in red color then you need to flip them for example if your UVs look like this then you need to select your shells go to modify and flip them so we are done with the arm I'm going to place them here for now So our head, torso and arms are unwrapped. There are a few parts like these uh, bolts which are still need to be unwrapped and these eyes. We will fix them in the next video. So I guess I'll just stop this video here. And in the next one we are going to finish the legs. And maybe these are the little objects. And uh, maybe in the next two videos this will be ready to export to Substance Painter for texturing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.